Jacob, on the way to school, I saw a squirrel that was run over by a car and it was totally flat. What are you doing? I've been trying to learn the country capitals, but it's impossible. Impossible! <sighs> you are too tense, Grasshopper. Breathe deeply. In, out. In, out. Now, little cricket, concentrate. What capitals can you remember? None of them. I can't remember a single one. Good morning, class. You're doomed. All right, you pathetic worms. Put your teeny tiny brains in gear for our daily capitals quiz. Jacob Tutu? Yes, ma'am? What are the capitals of Ireland, Bulgaria, and Cuba? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't... Nah. Time's up, Tutu. Stumped again. That makes you 0 for 34 this year. You know what that means, boys and girls? Detention? Hmm. Finally, a right answer. Why does she always pick on me? She can smell your fear. Plus, she knows you don't know the answers. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna show her. I'm gonna ace the quiz. You're gonna memorize all the capitals? Of course not, that's impossible. To beat Sour Pickle, I have to think like Sour Pickle. For example, how does she decide which countries to ask about? And still. <gasps> <laughs> Ireland, Bulgaria, and Cuba. I don't know. I think she just looks at her atlas and picks them. She's not looking at her atlas. She's got a section of the newspaper hidden in her book. I saw it when I was at the blackboard. This calls for further investigation. Unbelievable. No defense. It's no defense at all. Miss Sour Pickle? Ah! Miss Sour Pickle? What is it, Buford? If a train is leaving Station A, heading west at 80 kilometers an hour, and a second train leaves Station B, 200 kilometers away, at 100 kilometers an hour, and they both leave at the same time on the same track at midnight on a Tuesday, and they're eating lasagna in the dining car of the first train, but they run out of garlic bread, what color are the engineer's shoes? What kind of math problem is that? Uh, it's a joke. <laughs> Get it? You're the one who's gonna get it. Guess you had to be there. Bye. <laughs> She's reading the sports pages, and she circled the hockey scores. Incroyable! Sour Pickle is a hockey fan? The scores were 8-2, 2-6, 4-5. So how does she get countries out of that? Numbers. Like a code. Renee. Look up the list of countries. Which ones are numbered 82, 26, and 45? Ireland, Bulgaria, Cuba. <gasps> the countries in today's quiz. It's payback time. <laughs> hmm. Greetings, all. Today's the day I ace the Capitals quiz. I'll believe it when I see it. It's foolproof. Today's scores are 1-2, 5-4, and 3-2. Australia, Denmark, and Burkina Faso. Their capitals are Canberra, Copenhagen, and Ouagadougou. Ouagadougou? Jacob Tutu? Yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am? What are the capitals of Australia, Denmark, and Burkina Faso? Hmm. That would be... Canberra, 
Copenhagen, and oh, let me think, um, Wagadougou? <gasps> That's right! That's him! He's a genius! Ah, uh, it was no big deal. No big deal? No one has ever a sour pickle snap quizzes. Ever. <laughs> Can I have your autograph? Uh, I guess so. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> Jacob's got a girlfriend. Cut it out. So, which one was it that finally aced your quiz? <gasps> this one? The double talker? Are you sure? Yes, only a brilliant teacher like myself could mold his puny brain into a, a, a slightly less puny brain. Well, he might be scholars for dollars material someday. Which reminds me, our team had better win tomorrow. That prize money's gonna buy me a donut making machine. <laughs> Imagine an endless supply of little donuts right at my fingertips, day and night. Oh, darling! Oh. I mean, it sounds absolutely darling. I will win you that prize, Principal Greedy Guts. I promise. <laughs> he said you were scholars for dollars material. Me on scholars for dollars? That'd be the day. But scholars for dollars is fun. We compete at all the schools in the city. And for the regional finals, we get to go on TV. You're good at that stuff, Buford, but I could never do it. Besides, you don't need a geography guy with him around. Um, pa Pakistan, Plow, Papua New Guinea, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, Philippines, Poland, Portugal. Answering questions in front of all those people? I don't know how you do it. You must be prepared, Grasshopper. Kings and Queens of England, 20th century. Um... Queen Victoria, Edward VII, George V, Edward VIII, George VI, and Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II. That's why you're the history expert. Timbuk... 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 His brain is seized up. Istanbul, not Constantinople. Oh, yes, it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. This boy's brain is completely fried. No quiz shows of any kind for at least three weeks. But, but he is the Scholars for Dollars captain. <gasps> he was going to win me my donut machine tomorrow. Well, there's always... Tutu. Stop following me so close. Right you are, Captain. I'm not your captain. And who's that behind you? This, oh fearless leader, is Melinda Green, the multiplication machine, the third member of our Scholars for Dollars team. 27 times 43 is 3,311. 603 divided by... Okay, I get the picture. But I'm not your fearless leader. The geography guy is always the leader, and me and Melinda are always the followers. And now we are going to follow you. Not if I can help it. Bye. We'll follow you tomorrow, Commander-in-Chief. The square root of 529 is 23. What have I got myself into? There's my boy. <gasps> Congratulations, honey. What? What's going on? That sweet Miss Sour Pickle called. We didn't even know you were going out for the team, son. Way to go, Jacob. You're following in my exalted footsteps. This calls for a celebration. What most people don't realize is that Scholars for Dollars is not only a game of intelligence, but, but a game of nerves as but well. But it's all big. So what's your specialty, Jake? T 
Geography. Geography? He <laughs> he yeah. You know, geography is the last subject I would have guessed for you, sport. You've always hated those snap quizzes. And this will help with your last minute studying. It's my Grand McPally Atlas of the World. It's got everything you need to know. Does it have a list of all the countries and capitals? Sure, right here. It goes on for a few pages. Enjoy. You don't seem very happy about making the team. I'm a fake. I'm a fake. I didn't really know those capitals on Sour Pickle's quiz. I just figured out her system, and now she thinks I'm a genius. Could you tell her the truth? I can't. She's too scary. I'm so dead. I am so dead. You've still got tonight to study. But I'm no good at memorizing lists, Mom. I've tried. I just can't learn this stuff. Everyone learns differently, sweetie. You've always learned by doing. Doing? You mean if I do it, I'll be able to remember it? Yes, something like that. But how can I do? The capital of Egypt is Cairo. 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 Good one. Jamaica, Kingston. Meeting the king in Kingston. The capital of Belgium is Brussels, where I eat Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I think you've got it. I think I've got it. Indonesia. Pulling a cart in Jakarta. In Italy, I roam around Rome. In Libya, I'm tripping in Tripoli. Whoa! Milking a cow in Moscow, Russia. Burn toast in Switzerland. Petting a cat in Kathmandu. Meeting Sofia in Bulgaria. We're here. This is it. Huh? What kind of school is this? This doesn't look like a school. Dad, where are we? Where do you think, champ? We're at the TV studio. <gasps> but I... I thought it would be in the school gym. That's where they're held normally. But the regional finals are always televised. Regional finals? Regional finals? Yes, you're going to be on TV. TV, TV, TV. get any worse. Two, two. I've got a little date later on with a big pile of prize money. Do it for the donuts, boy. Miss Sour Pickle. Yes? I, I didn't actually, uh, 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 Out with it! I didn't really know the answers. I figured out your hockey score system for the quiz. Are you saying you didn't really ace my quiz? Then I'm still unbeaten! Nobody beats Sour Pickle! But I shouldn't be on this team. You've got to go out there and win! Principal Greedy Guts is depending on you. The man needs his donuts. Donuts? Last calculations! 98 times 100 is 9,800. Melinda? Are you? No! You can't stop her until she's finished. 99 times 100 is 9,900. 100 times 100 is 10,000. She's ready. Last 80 places. Group, Group hug. hug? Ew! Ew. 
Well, I think a group hug is a lovely tradition. Welcome to Scholars for Dollars, where the city's brightest students compete for money, money, money. Yay, money! Today's challenger is Dreary Meadows Elementary School. Facing off against three-time national champions, unbeaten, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Eglinton Middle School. Not Eglinton. A quick rundown of the rules. The first set of questions are a free-for-all. The first... Wait for the question, Dreary Meadows. Each player will answer questions in his or her... 68! I don't remember asking a question, but even if I did... Wrong! Minus $50 for a Dreary Meadows before the game even begins. You can do it, Jacob. Enough shilly-shallying. Let's play the game. When did the Ming Dynasty begin? 1368 A.D. the Dreary Meadows captain three questions. If he answers all three correctly, his team wins. If not, Eglinton remains the champion. What is the capital of Finland? Uh, uh... Come on, Jacob. You know this? No. Oh, everybody knows the capital of Finland. Yeah? So what is it? I, uh... Watch the game. Stand up, please. May I stand up? Uh, I guess so. Uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sinking in Helsinki. That's right. Yay, Jay! I knew he knew it. Helsinki. I knew that. Second question. What is the capital of Senegal? Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> it's Dakar! Right again! Yes! Oh, awesome, guys! Keep going! Yeah. And now for the big cash prize. The final question is. What is the longest river in Europe? I never learned rivers. He never learned rivers. Well, uh... I, uh, I, I don't know. The game is over. The winners and undefeated regional champions for the eighth year in a row, Eglinton Middle School. We're very proud of you, son. You were just wonderful. Mwah. Thanks, Mom. I couldn't have done better myself. Thanks. <laughs> so close. We were so close. My donuts. <laughs> you did a surprisingly good job. Congratulations, Tutu. Thank you. I'm really sorry, you guys. 49, 53, 17. She'll be all right in an hour or two. Don't worry about it, oh exalted one. Just remember the captain always buys pizza. Or the captain's dad. Jacob, wait. Your performance was so unusual, we were wondering. 
welcome to Scholars for Dollar. To see Montreal's top students compete for prizes. 1368 AD. From the smartest scholars to the wackiest. Helsinki. That's right. They're all here on Scholars for Dollar. They're going to play that before every show? Yup. Those grade three girls will still be wanting your autograph, Captain. You can stop calling me Captain now. Most high and mighty Nabob? Uh, no. Chief Muckamuck? No. Mr. Bigwig? No. Head Honcho? No. Grand Exalted Poobah? No. Memorizing things isn't always easy, but there are some tricks to make it easier. Like making up a new word from the first letters of the words you want to remember. That's called an acronym. The colors of the rainbow are Roy, G, Bib. Roy, red, orange, yellow. G, green. Bib, blue, indigo, violet. Simple. Or you can make a sentence with the words that start with the first letter of the things you want to remember. For example, the notes on the lines of a treble musical scale are every good boy deserves fudge. Every E, good, G, boy, B, deserves D, fudge, F. With these tricks, memorizing things can actually be fun. Now, if I could just remember how to get home again.